You're probably tired of waiting months for AI companies to release their next big model, only to be disappointed by incremental updates that barely move the needle. Well, here's the thing about XAI's Grok. While everyone else is taking their time, Elon Musk's team has been releasing major updates every few months. And what I discovered about Grok 5 is going to completely change how you think about the AI race. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. Everything we know about Grok 5. Elon Musk's next AI model that he claims will be crushingly good and could potentially achieve AGI. We'll cover the insane timeline they're working with, the rumored features that make other AI models look outdated, and why this release could be the most significant one yet. First up, let's talk about how XAI went from zero to potentially beating everyone else in just two years. The Grok speed run. Here's something that'll blow your mind. While most AI companies take a year or more between major releases, XAI has been operating on what I can only call an insane development schedule. Grok 1 launched in November 2023, basically XAI's entry into the chatbot arena, inspired by the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Until you see this timeline. Just six months later, in May 2024, Grok 1.5 dropped with a massive 128,000 token context window and significantly stronger reasoning capabilities. That alone would have been impressive. But they didn't stop there. Only three months after that, in August 2024, Grok 2 arrived. And this is where things got interesting. Grok 2 didn't just improve on the previous version, it completely transformed the model. We're talking major gains in coding, reasoning, and vision capabilities. It could generate images using a built-in flux model. And here's the kicker. It matched, or even beat, GPT-4 Turbo on key benchmarks. Think about that for a second. A company that had only existed for about a year was already competing with OpenAI's 2025, and XAI unveiled Grok 3. This is where the compute power gets absolutely ridiculous. They trained this model using roughly 10 times the compute of Grok 2, leveraging their 200,000 GPU Colossus cluster. And they introduced these new think modes for advanced reasoning, basically letting the model work through complex problems step by step. Then came July 9th, 2025. Grok 4 launched, and XAI literally called it the most intelligent model in the world. Now, I know every AI company says that, but Grok 4 brought something genuinely different to the table. Native tool use. Not bolted on features, but a code interpreter and web search functionality built directly into the model's training. It also bumped the context window to 256,000 tokens in the API and added an upgraded voice chat mode that can literally see what you're looking at and analyze live camera input. Timeline absolutely bonkers. Grok 1 to 1.5 took six months. Grok 1.5 to Grok 2 took only three months. Grok 2 to Grok 3 took six months. And Grok 3 to Grok 4 took just five months. They've been releasing major versions roughly twice a year, with each one bringing qualitatively new capabilities that completely change what the model can do. And here's where the story takes a wild turn because Grok 5 is coming even faster. The Grok 5 Timeline In early August 2025, Elon Musk dropped a bomb on X. He posted that Grok 5 will be out before the end of this year and it will be crushingly good. This wasn't just casual speculation. He said this directly in response to OpenAI's GPT-5 announcement, essentially throwing down the gauntlet. But that's not even the most interesting part. In mid-September 2025, Musk tweeted again, saying, Grok 5 starts training in a few weeks. Let's do the math here. If training began in late September, and Musk is promising a release before the end of 2025, we're looking at a development cycle of about three to four months from training to deployment. Think about what that means. Grok 4 launched in July 2025. 
Grok 5 is expected to debut by the end of 2025. That's potentially a five-month gap between major releases, faster than any previous cycle. And we're not talking about minor updates here. Based on what we're hearing, Grok 5 is shaping up to be a generational leap that could redefine what we expect from AI models. So what exactly is XAI building? Let's dive into the rumors and leaks, because some of this stuff sounds straight out of science fiction. Rumored features. Multimodal madness. The first major upgrade everyone's talking about is multimodal reasoning and generation. Now, Grok 4 already has some impressive multimodal features. Its Grok Imagine tool can generate images and even short videos. But industry reports are suggesting that Grok 5 will take this to an entirely different level. Here's what the leaks are saying. Grok 5 is expected to address major inefficiencies in visual and video data processing that earlier models struggled with. What does that mean in practice? We're talking about better image understanding that could finally close the gap with GPT-4V. An integrated video generation that's not just an add-on feature, but built into the core model. And this isn't just speculation. Musk's hiring patterns and XAI's investments support this. They've been recruiting chip experts from Tesla's Dojo team, people who understand how to build custom hardware for AI inference. That tells us they're not just improving the software. They're optimizing the entire stack from silicon to application layer. Leaked benchmarks suggest Grok 5 will have a major focus on multimodal reasoning. But here's where it gets really interesting. This isn't just about understanding images or generating videos. We're talking about true multimodal reasoning, where the model can seamlessly combine visual, audio, and textual information to solve complex problems. Imagine describing a complex engineering diagram verbally, having the model understand it visually, generate code based on what it sees, and then explain the solution back to you in natural language. That's the kind of capability we're looking at. Scale and compute. The Colossus Advantage. Let's talk about the infrastructure powering all of this, because this is where XAI's advantage becomes clear. Grok 5 is expected to leverage XAI's next-generation Colossus 2 supercomputer. And when I say massive, I mean this thing is rumored to break the gigawatt power barrier. To put that in perspective, Grok 3 already trained on roughly 200,000 GPUs. Grok 5 may use significantly more data and compute than that. The outcome? Broader knowledge, better real-time capabilities, and the ability to process live data from the X platform instantly. One report specifically notes that Grok 5's development targets AGI by using 200,000 plus H100 GPUs with a roadmap of real-time data integration. Now, whether it actually achieves AGI is another question, one we'll get to in a minute. But the scale of this training run is unprecedented, even by today's standards. And here's what that scale unlocks. More compute doesn't just mean a smarter model. It means a model that can handle exponentially more complex reasoning chains, maintain coherence over longer interactions, and potentially exhibit emergent capabilities that smaller models simply can't reach. We've seen this pattern before with GPT-3 to GPT-4, but XAI is pushing the boundaries even further. The AGI claim, hype or reality. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. In October 2025, Elon Musk stated that his estimate of the probability of Grok 5 achieving AGI is now at 10% and rising. He even went as far as to say, Grok 5 will be AGI or something indistinguishable from AGI. Now I know what you're thinking. Elon's known for optimistic projections. And AGI, artificial general intelligence, is a term that gets thrown around a lot in the AI community, often without clear definitions. But here's what XAI is actually building toward, and why these claims might not be as outlandish as they sound. Grok 5 is expected to incorporate new reinforcement learning and multi-agent training techniques specifically designed to handle extremely complex, multi-step tasks. We're not just talking about answering questions anymore. We're talking about a model that can work through hard problems more like a human PhD researcher than a basic chatbot. 
some commentary on Grok 4.2, an interim model that XAI has been testing, suggests that the architecture is focusing on longer chains of reasoning, iterative problem solving, and agentic use of tools. Grok 5 is expected to continue and amplify this trend. What does agentic use of tools actually mean? It means the model doesn't just have access to tools, it can decide when and how to use them strategically. It can break down a complex task, use a code interpreter to solve one part, search the web for missing information, synthesize everything together, and then verify its own work. That's getting closer to how humans actually solve problems. Will Grok 5 be true AGI? Probably not in the sense of general intelligence that matches or exceeds humans across all domains. But could it be indistinguishable from AGI for most practical purposes? That's actually plausible. And if XAI pulls this off, it could fundamentally change how we interact with AI systems. Context, memory, and personalization. Two, but I think it's going to be absolutely crucial. Each Grok iteration has dramatically increased its context window. Grok 4's API can handle 256,000 tokens, and they even launched a Grok 4 Fast option in September 2025 with a 2 million token context window. Let that sink in for a second. 2 million tokens. That's roughly equivalent to about 1.5 million words, or approximately 3,000 pages of text. You could feed it multiple textbooks, research papers, and code bases simultaneously, and it would maintain coherence across all of it. But context length is only part of the story. Grok 5 is rumored to push this even further while also refining persistent memory features. XAI has been developing these projects' capabilities that allow the model to remember past interactions and maintain context across multiple sessions. The rumors mention sharper long-term memory and custom personalities. What does that mean in practice? Imagine an AI assistant that actually remembers your preferences, understands your work style, recalls previous projects you've discussed, and adapts its communication style to match yours. Not just for one conversation, but across weeks or months of interactions. This is what transforms a chatbot into a genuine personal assistant. And combined with Grok 5's other capabilities, we're looking at a system that could fundamentally change how knowledge workers operate native tools, and multi-agent systems. Now we get to one of the most technically impressive aspects of Grok 5's development, native tool use and multi-agent systems. Grok 4 was already trained to use tools like a code interpreter and web search natively, not as external plugins, but as core capabilities built into the model's training. Grok 5 is expected to take this concept and run with it. Analysts are speculating that it could call multiple APIs simultaneously run code internally, and effectively function as a multi-agent AI system. One blog specifically posits that Grok 5 will enhance the multi-agent system introduced in Grok 4, allowing the model to coordinate several specialized sub-agents for different tasks. Here's why this matters. Imagine you give Grok 5 a complex software engineering task, something that requires understanding requirements, designing architecture, writing code, testing it, debugging errors, and documenting the solution. Instead of trying to do everything in one monolithic pass, Grok 5 could coordinate multiple specialized agents. One agent focuses on code generation, another on testing, another on documentation, and a coordinator agent ensures everything works together. This multi-agent approach could let Grok 5 tackle highly complex software projects or research tasks in real time, far beyond what current chatbots can handle. And it's not just about software. Imagine applying this to complex business analysis, scientific research, or creative projects that require multiple specialized skills. How Grok 5 compares to previous versions. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Each Grok release has introduced a qualitatively new skill that separated it from its predecessors. Grok 2 brought image and video capabilities. Grok 3 introduced think modes for complex reasoning. Grok 4 added native tool use and real-time knowledge integration. Grok 5's rumored enhancements, especially video and audio understanding combined with vastly improved reasoning, would represent another major leap forward. 
and XAI's own roadmap hints at this continued expansion. The Grok 4 announcement promised ongoing improvements in vision, audio, and dynamic environments. But here's what's really significant. The cadence itself tells us something important. Grok 5 is arriving faster than any earlier model, roughly five months after Grok 4. This signals XAI's urgency to not just keep up with competitors, but to leapfrog them entirely. And when you look at the competitive landscape, this makes sense. OpenAI has GPT-5 in development. Google is pushing Gemini. Anthropic has Claude. The AI race isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. And XAI seems determined to not just participate, but to lead. Release outlook and what to expect. So when can you actually get your hands on Grok 5? Based on all the clues we have, it's in late stage development right now. Musk's timeline of training soon in September 2025 suggests a launch before the end of 2025, which at this point means we're potentially just weeks away. It will likely debut to XAI's premium users and partners first. That's been the pattern with previous releases. We'll probably first see announcements or demos on X or XAI's blog, just like we did with Grok 3 and Grok 4. But here's what I'm watching for. The first benchmarks. How does Grok 5 actually perform compared to GPT-5, Claude, and Gemini? The real-world usability. Does the multi-agent system actually work in practice, or is it overhyped? And most importantly, the pricing and access. Will this be available to the general public, or will it be locked behind premium tiers? What we know for certain is that analysts and Musk's own hints paint a picture of an AI model genuinely aiming for AGI-like performance, multimodal, massively scaled, and optimized for reasoning. If even half of this promise comes true, Grok 5 could be a major milestone in the AI arms race. So here's the bottom line. Grok 5 represents XAI's most ambitious project yet, potentially arriving just five months after Grok 4, with capabilities that could redefine what we expect from AI systems. We're talking about a model that combines advanced multimodal understanding, AGI-level reasoning, massive scale, persistent memory, and multi-agent coordination, all in a single release. Whether Musk's claim of 10% probability of AGI is accurate or optimistic, one thing is clear. XAI is moving faster and pushing harder than almost anyone expected. And that's forcing every other AI company to accelerate their own timelines. The AI landscape at the end of 2025 could look radically different than it does today. And Grok 5 might be the catalyst that makes that happen. If you want to stay updated on Grok 5's release and my hands-on testing when it drops, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And let me know in the comments, are you excited about Grok 5 or do you think the AGI claims are overhyped? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.